evening and welcome to Tinkering with Atkelar. During this stay home time we have right now, I finally got around to do some spring cleaning. You know, every decade or so seems about right. Which led me to my latest workshop issue. Storing sheets of cardboard. Those are bulky and need flat storage. Paper can be rolled up, but cardboard will need to be stored flat. The shelves will be made from cheap HDF. The sheets are slightly too large for my table saw, so I cut them with my circular saw instead. I clamped them together for simplicity and because I do not need high precision in this case anyway. Yes, 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 almost. Oh well. Cutting the lumber to size is next on the agenda. I want 6 levels, so I need 6 support frames for the HDF. That gives 24 frame elements and another 6 diagonal braces to prevent sagging. Add 4 vertical supports and another 2 braces on the outside, lots and lots of cuts. In order to keep the build simple enough for a single day build, I decided to go with an ah just screw it approach. Flat screw joints, no fancy woodworking involved, should be enough, given the fact that the lumber is anything but straight. Sheesh, some of the pieces almost have a 45 degree turn in them. I assembled one of the six frames to transfer the correct angle of the diagonal support to the miter saw. The frame is not quite square, so the angle is somewhat off from 45 degrees and I was too lazy to calculate. The lumber was also a bit rough, so I gave it a quick one over with the belt sander. I moved inside for the assembly. The wood glue for the frames was not the best idea, since the wood is so extremely crooked. I have to keep everything moving as good as possible until the last minute. Here I am attaching the vertical struts to the bottommost frame. I just eyeballed a centimeter distance from the floor, that is about one third of a freedom unit. The floors are anything but even and I also wanted a bit of air circulation for the wet walls. Dividing up the height for the levels at an even distance, mounting the side struts first. followed by the front and rear ones. This is a good time to check for right angle. <laughs> yeah, I did check on one corner and since I cut all the pieces to the same length, I have to assume it's okay-ish. I added diagonal braces on the wall facing sides for stability. Adding the boards. They slid in just fine, except for one. I had to cut a notch in one side. All in all, it fit together just fine, considering the extra cheap material. I tacked down the sheets with two nails each, just enough to prevent them from sliding around. After some cleaning, 
I finally can add all the cardboard pieces I have. I might store some plastic sheets as well, but even this little bit makes the clutter in the other room much more manageable. So that's it for this video, see you next time! Here I am attaching the vertical struts to the bottom of the mo- to the bottom of the most frame. Yes, yes, ahem. <coughs>